Hello everyone! Welcome to Nerea Sun channel. So in this week's video, I'm going to give you guys some behind the scenes information about my solo in our production of Aladdin the Ballet Show. We're going to be talking about the music choice, the costume, the steps. I'm going to be sharing with you guys what's the story, what's the princess trying to say and the context of it in the story. And I'm also going to be sharing my thoughts on this specific time that I danced it. Maybe there were some mistakes that I did. So we'll talk about all of those fun things. Let's get started. So we shoot this variation in the same theater where we did the photo shoot of my previous video. This was my very first time trying this variation on stage. We choreographed it in a smaller studio. So when we went to the theater this day, we had to adjust and change some steps in order to fill out the whole stage, right? And to be more dynamic and kind of to be more proportionate from the audience. You can actually see that process in Yamakai video he filmed our rehearsal and where we discussed the different changes and this is right after that when does this variation happen this variation happens at the very beginning of the second act the princess is in her palace and this happens right after she meets Aladdin at the market so what is she trying to say in the solo? She's trying to figure out what kind of feelings she's feeling in the moment because up until this point she hasn't really felt this kind of love before towards a guy. She's always been in the palace so all of these feelings are new to her. Her dream was always to explore new things, to get to know more things other than the palace but she wasn't expecting to find this young man and to develop these loving emotions towards him. On the other hand, she knows her duty. She knows that she has to follow what her family has previously done, right? Getting married, become a queen, become the leader of her uh, kingdom, right? And she also doesn't want to disappoint her father because she knows what her father wants for her. But at the same time, she's experiencing these new feelings. So it's kind of like an inner battle she has. It's not just the typical happy variation. There's some kind of struggle that she faces. So she's dancing and then suddenly she feels this need of having to run, right? Kind of like she can't hold it anymore and she runs but then she understands maybe i shouldn't be feeling this maybe i should you know just follow what my family has done for years we'll have a backdrop with a fountain in a kind of like a garden scene so she keeps running towards the back kind of saying like but i really want to explore the world and get to know new things that's why if you see me running around the stage that's kind of what i'm trying to say when we were talking about the costumes for the princess aladdin and all of these characters i kind of had a vision for it and based on that vision we actually custom made these costumes right so my original idea was to have the tool kind of like around my shoulders so kind of like they called it the wedding dress style right but the problem with that is that i couldn't lift my arm we didn't want to have a lot of fabric because that would also look heavy so we kind of made it kind of tight and then I could not lift my arms to fifth position and for this variation there's a lot of like these movements, these movements, right? So I really had to lift my arms. <laughs> That's why I changed the design and instead of having it here I fold it up so it kind of like goes up until here, right? Then I'm able to do fifth position now. So as you can see, we are still in the process of adjusting to see what works, what doesn't. So this time was actually the first time trying the variation full out with the costume. I really like all the details that we added in the chest area. I think the top looks very kawaii. <laughs> 
and the skirt is also very nice. As you guys will be able to see, the skirt has like from the front goes down like that and also on the sides I requested to have a little cut so that also the line of the leg looks nicer. These are all little details that I've learned throughout the years, what works best. I've seen many ballets at the Bolshoi and all these big companies and you pick up on these details that actually make a huge difference. Having the skirt look like this was um, kind of like a dream come true. Ideally, we wanted me to appear from the wing right straight on the stage but because the stage was very large I had to start on the stage so the curtain will come up and I will walk out <laughs> and these movements are all kind of royal in the style of where she lives right and here you can see also the cut of the skirt where it hits the leg and here, oops, I should make more sharp movements with the arms I feel like right now it's kind of falling apart a little bit should make it a little sharper there and about this little section, I'm gonna pause it a second I wanted to mention about the music as well this beautiful music we found it when I was researching ballads that are similar to Aladdin, right? Kind of to get the style. For me it's very important to be true to the style, right? So if we are doing this kind of ballet that has more Arabic gestures and manners, for me it's very important to portray that not just in the costumes but also on the steps, right? So I was researching ballets and I found, of course, the Scheherazade ballet. This one of the most beautiful ballets that you can see kind of to get the style. And this music, of course, has always been in my heart. I've listened to this music for a very long time, even since I was a student. It sounds like an adagio, right? It sounds like maybe it could be a pas de deux. In the original Scheherazade ballet, this music, it is a pas de deux. So we wanted to kind of do something different and that's why we put it as my solo. When I hear it, my interpretation of it is that it's kind of sad, but also kind of like royal and kind of like sexy as well. Has a lot of different feelings to it. But it's kind of difficult to make a variation out of this music because we don't want to just do adagio steps, right? We want to make also powerful steps. And so when I do these jumps, we don't like to say ignoring the music because we always have to follow the music, but sometimes there are times where you kind of have to push through the music and this is exactly what it is. So you wouldn't expect to have these big jumps in this music, but it kind of feels like what I was sharing to you guys about her wanting to not follow the rules and wanting to explore new things that she wants to do. So I think it really suits the story that we want to tell in that moment. And again she reaches but she knows that she has to stay. And this is where I share with you guys that she's going to the back where she sees the palace, garden. This is... Uh, yeah. One second. We actually changed these steps as well. It was just supposed to be twice, but because the stage was way deeper, we added more turns. So this was still not in my body. And again, she runs into the corner. And here she goes, Bure, right? <laughs> bure, 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 bure. And then she finishes into the corner again. So, breaths. Breaths are a very interesting step. I know that you guys love to see them from the videos that I've posted previous to this one. I always see in the comments that you guys love the breaths. As a step is very challenging, especially going backwards. It kind of 
portrays very well what we are trying to say, right? Like she's trying to reach, she's trying to go somewhere, but the legs take her back, right? It's kind of like she's trying to go somewhere, but her mind tells her, no, 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 you have to stay here. And then she tries to reach to the other corner saying like, oh, I really want to go there, but the legs take her back. We felt like it really suits this solo. And after this, she finishes in the corner and then her dad comes in and she has some interaction with him. Maybe in the future, I'm gonna be showing to you guys that section as well. This was the princess's first solo. I think the storyline is super interesting, has a lot of drama in it, has a lot of interesting connections with each character of the ballet. That was something very important for both Yamakai and I to make the story interesting for each single character so it's not boring definitely <laughs> there's a lot going on this is kind of the first time where Yamakai and I are actually choreographing this much and I think that the process of creating something together has been challenging at times but very interesting and fulfilling especially when the product is done and you see it and you are proud of what you made together and I think that it translates into the dance and probably after our first show we're gonna feel like so overwhelmingly happy we are getting closer and closer to the performances and I'm super excited to perform in two new cities this time Hakodate and Miyazaki I'm super excited to bring this production to these wonderful cities that I visited um, already so I'm very excited to meet the audience there and also of course our beloved audience in Tokyo in Osaka you guys showed us so much support when we did the Japan tour in May so we are also super excited to meet you guys again and if last time you didn't have the chance or for some reason you couldn't come to the show I invite you guys to join this production because as I said it's a super special production for Yamakai and I this is kind of like our first production baby <laughs> if you want to call it like that it's the first time we create something from the very beginning, as I mentioned, from picking the music, the costume, the steps, the sets, all of that. So I know it's gonna be super special and I invite you guys to join us. I'm going to be leaving the link to the tickets in my description box, so please check it out and if you're available, please, please, please come. If you have any questions about the production, also let me know in the comments, maybe I can make more videos about the specific things that you want to see. If I see a lot of questions about the production, maybe I can make a Q&A to reply to all the things that you want to know about it. So let me know in the comments. Minasan arigatou gozaimasu! Thank you so much for watching! And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Goodbye!